So in this tutorial we are going to be making our own custom shapes. Now we are tired of making other shapes which are already available in Adobe After Effects. So we are going to make our own shape. Now there are a couple of things to understand while making shapes. There are a lot of concepts that we need to understand. Not much more but we have to understand few, few of them. Okay, so let's get started. Have a nice tutorial. So I'm gonna be making new compositions as usual. And I'm gonna leave the composition setting as default and press OK. So we have made our first composition. Now it's time to make shapes. Now we already know how to make shapes from this tool. We have a couple of ready-made shape here. But we are not going to be making our shape from this panel or from this menu. Alright. So we are going to be using this tool. Pen tool. Okay. So how we are going to make our shape with the help of pen tool. So there are a couple of things to understand. Okay. So let's start. So as you can see there is nothing in this panel. So in order to make a shape layer without using this layer what we are going to do is just click on this pen tool you can also call this pen tool by the help of G do not misconfuse guys uh, do not misconfuse guys there are a couple of pen tools here which you don't want to use you, which you might not want to use you just want to select pen tool okay so what we are going to do is uh, find a place where we can make a dot in empty space so click wherever you want so I'm gonna click on this one okay left click on this one this is space so the shape layer one has been created plus if we expand this then we can see contents so what are the contents that we have made expand this and we have made shape layer one so we can make another point okay another line we can make another dot which will make a line so the, this is the first vertex and this is the second vertex so we need to understand about vertex vertex is anything that connects one line from another okay so if I make another vertex vertex is nothing but a point you can see in this thing if we make another vertex okay then it seems like we have made a shape but do not misconfuse we are well, we are able to make a complete shape once we click on this okay so let's click on it to make a complete shape and there you can see the shape has been made how cool is that now there are a couple of things to remind you if you don't want to make a stroke over this then you can decrease the stroke as usual okay you can increase the stroke and you can decrease the stroke for now I'm gonna keep this amount of stroke so if you don't want to feel the color then you can just do you can just go to fill okay not the color just go to fill where there is written fill and then you can see fill option and then you can click on it and then you can choose none okay this will not fill any color so now we are able to see this very much clearly without filling the color so let's make another shape delete the shape layer and make a dot which is known as vertex and we want to make another dot and we want to make another dot and we want to connect this dot so now we made a complete shape okay so now what we have made a shape we have done everything so what so if we go to shape layer one as before we have made a shape one which is this layer so if we make another shape uh, we can make it okay 
so for an example I click on this and then you can see here is shape 2 which is this dot over here and make this a line okay and this one all right and this one all right so we have made a complete shape so if you want to uh, come if you want to continue drawing from the previous shape then what should you do if you click on this of course it will make shape 3 which will not allow you to draw from the previous layer so I'm going to press Ctrl Z for undoing that and what I'm going to do is go to shape 2 just click on it okay so from where I want to continue drawing my shape so make sure that you are selected on pen tool and then you click on this vertex and then you can just do like that it will not make any shapes maybe okay this shape is already made so it is not allowing you to make our shape it is not allowing you to continue making shape okay I will make you understand everything so now let's make shape 3 okay just to make you understand how to continue drawing from the same shape so as you can see shape 3 when I click over this and I want to make a linear line okay and suppose that I let's say that I just lost okay I unselected it by just clicking on time panel okay so uh, if I if I click on this it will create shape layer 2 even if I even if I click on shape layer 1 and even if I click on this one then it will create shape layer 4 so I'm gonna hit Control Z and how to make uh, how to continue drawing from this line a shape so what you have to do is uh, uh, go to this pen tool and make sure that you select shape 3 and then you can just uh, click on the last vertex which you have made and then you can just click on this okay so and then you can hint connect this okay you have made three awesome shapes custom shapes now what else you need so you need to understand now the complex shapes which is curved shapes okay let's understand it okay now let's make a curved shape which is much more complex than the previous tutorial okay so okay we are going to of course click on this pen tool now we are going to make a shape now as we know how to make a shape we're just going to click on this okay we have made shape layer one and then what we are going to do is we can click on another uh spot okay so before uh, clicking on another spot we have to hold our spot what i mean is just a left click and just drag okay so when you drag it as you can see there is a uh, curvature on this line okay so you need to understand about this handle in order to be a perfect um, logo maker or in order to be a perfect shape maker with curves okay so when you just move this handle just like this by dragging it okay uh, then it moves so if you make uh, let's say that if you click on this spot it will continue making the line from that spot okay so you can adjust it just like this but let's say that you don't want to uh, make this handle connected with this handle when you see this okay so I'm gonna complete making the shape this is one shape okay congratulations we have made one shape okay so now we are going to be understanding handles how to make how to work with handles and how to understand handles more and more in depth
okay so I'm gonna delete everything shape layer one just delete it now I'm just gonna make a dot in this section and then I'm gonna be pressing this one okay this is this linear line uh, and then we can click on this and hold okay so when we hold this we can see this handle so this handle okay how do you use this handle uh, if you want you can also break this handle just by clicking alt on your just by holding alt on your keyboard PC keyboard and just moving it just dragging it now you can see the handle is broken so it will make an impact on the shape so if I click on this one then it will bend all right it will not make a direct line from this point this point it will just curve first because this uh, because this handle is going upwards and uh, this line tries to uh, you know go with this handle but it cannot because we have made a dot on this so it tries to follow this uh, what do we say handle but it will just return to there okay so if you want to make a, a, a straight shape then what we can do is uh, we can just now without pressing alt on your keyboard we can just drag it just like this and if we want to make uh, a straight line then we can make it now okay it will not gonna bend make sure that you have made a, a perfect okay make sure that both the ha handles are on the same spot okay so we are going to make a straight line so let's do it okay if we do that okay it will gonna bend so what are we going to do now maybe okay let's do it now okay so in order to make in order to make a uh, in order to make a linear shape okay linear line we have to put this handle and we just have to uh, so whenever the whenever wherever wherever the handle is pointing at we're just gonna click on that spot and then we can make a linear line without any bending all right so let's complete this shape by clicking on the first vertex so there are a couple of vertex here so what is vertex so vertex is anything that is you know vertex is anything that is a dot so all of the dots which make this shape is a vertex are vertices so so there are a couple of things uh, there are a couple of modifications that we can make on this layer so let's see let's say that we want to make our uh, first vertex as this point so what we have to do right click it and then we want to go to max and shape path and set first vertex now our first vertex is this point this will affect the shape in many aspect we're not going to be discussing that now okay so as usual we grab this selection tool and then we click on it once and we can move it okay as simple as that so you try bending you try making a curve and you will make a perfect shape like this okay okay so now what we are going to do is uh, we will understand how to uh, make a shape, uh, make a text, and animate that. It is much easier than that. It is much easier than this tutorial. So let's delete this one and just click text. And whenever we click text, we're just going to click on it on the empty spot. And then we are going to change the font. Maybe I want to keep this font as Metal Lord. Okay so okay uh, fire 
up people just like that okay I don't know what it means but randomly I have written so instead of moving text over here and here what we can do uh, something unique is we can just pull this up and we can just uh, uh, go to text and uh, there is something called source text so we are going to be making keyframe on this one okay this turned blue now we are going to move a little bit nine frames okay uh, and then not nine frames okay let's say 14 frames and then we click on it and we delete delete we only put F and then after that we are going to move couple of seconds so whenever I change the text it will gonna record everything it will change the text according to time so I type I okay move a little bit and then I just put R all right and then E and move it a little bit and F and then O and then X Firefox okay so first of all it was fire up people now let's see what happens fire uh, fox okay firefox so that's the animation that we can make on our animation on our layer okay so there are a couple of things that we are we um, can change here in the next tutorial we are going to be looking at uh, we are going to be using our um, different aspect of this one Add vertex tool, delete vertex tool, convert to vertex tool, and max feeder tool. So we are going to be using this in the next tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Okay.